Morning, it's Janice Thompson from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live and work in Scotland. And just bear with me, I'm just getting set up and ready to go. You can see it's going to be bright colours today. Just need to find myself on my... Yeah, it can find me, I just need to get the volume down. So, good morning if you're coming in. Can't get the volume to go off here. Oh, maybe it's down already. I don't from no. jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. I'm in. Sorry about this. Right. Okay, so. I can't see comments at the moment because my laptop's playing up as usual. Um, once I can get it to change the volume. So today I thought I'd come on and do some simple cards. Oh, sorry. So today I thought I'd come on and do some simple cards. Stop it. I think I might have sorted it. <laughs> right. Anyway, good morning, Steph. Good morning, Ladonia. So, stamping up. It's we've got a couple. We've got less than two weeks left now of our cel celebration. Hi, Katrina. Of our celebration promotion, where you can get free stuff. Who doesn't like free stuff? <laughs> Hands up if you don't like free stuff. Okay, yeah, you do have to make a purchase to get this free stuff, so it's not entirely free. But if you're if you're a crafter and you're already buying craft materials, you will appreciate this. It's a fantastic offer, and it's a great way to build your stash, so that you can make lots of cards, scrapbook, and pages, 3D gift boxes, or whatever it is that floats your boat. To be honest, they all float my boat. I love any kind of paper crafting. But to, I do like quick and easy. And I'm needing to build up. Hi, Caroline, and you come, honey. Um, I need to build up some basic cards. So what I thought I would do, this might work and it might not. So I'm going to put it out there. This is my plan to do simple, casual, avid. So make the same card, but step it up each time. So we are going to use this amazing paper. It's called Flower and Field, I think. Flower and Field Designer Series paper. And you can have this whole pack of paper with a £45 spend in my Stampin' Up! shop. So if you're interested in some free stuff, have a chat with me and we'll work out how you can get the best value for your, your money. So look, at it's just amazing. It's good, decent weight paper and it's just beautiful so anyway what i'm going to do is today is i've taken one sheet i'm going to put the rest away just now and i'm going to cut this deliberately in a specific way i've got two card bank cards there you're ready we'll need more in a minute but we'll just get this one we'll get started so this one i'm going to cut a strip of it at 10.1 and I'm going to lay the other bit aside because if I try to cut everything at once I will go seriously wrong then this one at 10.4 no 14.4 even I'm working in centimeters you can use the same principle and change it to so that I'm using picking out the granny apple green on this to show that up. and to be honest as simple as you know that paper is so beautiful that you could get away with just sticking that piece of paper on there and a sentiment which is what we're going to do so So 
So it's a good way to get your crafting started if you just sat down at your desk. Just make a simple one hearted kia ora. Please, uh, please say hello to everybody as they come in because I might miss people while I'm crafting. Here we go again, the glue debacle. There's hundreds of glue in this tube. And it's been up the right way. Look, here it's coming now. Just take a wee while to get ourselves going in the morning. Just like me. So I folded a granny apple green. There. And I'm just putting these beautiful daisies here. Now for my sentiments, I am going to marry myself up with our oval punch, it's a double oval punch and the oval occasion stamp set. So you could buy this as a bundle, maybe buy an ink pad and some paper and then you, you would get that and you can choose the paper free, so yeah. <laughs> Steph, what are you like? Hi Veronica, can you come? Have you all got your coffee? I've just finished one, but I did take the liberty of fin filling my heated cup up. Um, and I'm just going to fill that cup with a little drop of coffee. Because I yap and it goes cold. So this is an, I don't know if I've shown you this cup before, but I won this from my Stampin' Up! upline in a wee competition that she held. She does a draw every month for everyone that's put in an order I believe and I won this so I was just excited by that and it's just handy for my coffee and my cup and cards every Thursday so I've stuck that down I've got this ov oval punch I do have or I did have out I've got some black and I've got some white now I do have scraps I just didn't have a lot of time this morning, but I do have a plan to do um, loads of cards today. So I will be using up all the bits, but just so that for my new people especially, just to let you see how fantastic this paper is. I'm just going to cut this down here because I'll only need about half for my sentiments and things. So let, let's see if we can fly a bit. I could prep beforehand, but I wouldn't really show you the reality. <laughs> That's a lie, it's just because I'm lay in bed too long. and uh, So I'm just going to punch out the big one from black. Yeah, I just, I'm not clever enough to have, but if you cut a strip, in fact, if I cut a narrow strip, I might get away with it. Let's have a look. Maybe try a strip at about four centimetres. Obviously, I should be in my scrap bag for these bits, and I will later on. Yeah, the oval occasions it's so handy, just so handy set. And because you've got the punch, so look, we just cut, I've cut that at four, so at least I'm not wasting a whole lot of. Because this is the lower down one, if you pop it in that way. Get a whole pile of them to stamp our sentiments on. I'm sure you could probably do it more frugally than that, but it's me we're talking about here. Oops. And then, so all the cards are going to be on the oval because I'm going to use out up these sentiments. So then, if we just go along the, this scrap bit here with the that's got black and just put it in the top. We're not wasting a whole pile of cards either. I love the way that they're jumping on a little pile there. That's good. I do love our punches. So you can't go wrong if you're a beginner by a wee punch set like this and a, a punch and a stamp set like this. I think this is a great one for people who are just beginning card making. So I think I might have enough there to do what <laughs> we might get done in cupping cards. But today I am going to go up. up head and batch make because I need thank you cards I need loads of stuff so yeah so anyway back to where we were so we will warm up I will warm up 
So what am I going to put this one? Just a wee simple card to send a wee note to a friend probably. So so lucky to know you, do you think? Or thank, thank you for your kindness. That's going to be one I need to use a lot. Of course, I've not really used this a lot yet. So where's the thank you for your kindness one, Janice? I can't even see it. That's the little one. Little something for you. I'm having a real hard. Well, that's here it is. The biggest pig. <laughs> it's looking for something small. It is a cracker. Blocks. Can you see how organised I was before? <laughs> I do kind of know that I can fly by the seat of my pants because everything is kind of around me. So I will get away with it. Right, so we don't need that just now. We'll keep our wee pile of sentiments. Now another thing that you can do if you're batch making is you could punch out all your wee white bits and then you can stamp on them all and stick them onto your your background but so that you're you know you're going to be really quick i'm hoping that's going to fit on there do you know what it's not it's meant to fit on there the big one so let's go in for a little one then not my best start is it but that's usual isn't that why you'll come just to see what my daftness will be today i believe the happy birthday's going to fit and i believe that that block is far too big for that Right, and we've got just got memento black out. We will we will get going, honestly. There will be a card at the end of this. So this is our simple card. So really we're just going to take the happy birthday. And it is going to fit, honestly. Believe me. You will fit. And even if I've got it upside down, because I've not stopped to put the sticker on, it won't matter because I can turn it around. Alrighty. And just careful look, ink already. Hi, Verarity. There, I'll give you a new name. Hi, Verarity. <laughs> Hi, Karen. Didn't see you come in. How is everybody today? Wish I could hear your reply. Maybe needing another resume, aren't we? So finally, 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 we're going somewhere. <laughs> now, so you do have a choice. You could just glue that down. Or you could take some dimensionals. Oh, I need to refill this box, I think. So let's use up the bits then. Still fairly simple. This is just our basic simple card showing you the paper. Okay. Happy birthday. There's nothing wrong with that, it's lovely, and obviously you could you can pop a liner inside and write a nice message to your friend, and then you've a birthday card to send, right? So that's us started. So what if this time we do something very similar, but we do a wee bit of matte and layering. So we take this black that we've got and we score it in half. Because remember, I cut this piece in half and I used half for making my background. So I know that this is my ten and a half centimetres wide. And this time we've got a card that folds that way. Now I need a bit of my granny apple green. This time I need I want to cut a layer with this. Oh and Harris, have you not found that unwanted present yet? Oh no, 
I hate that. Been there. We used to have a cat that brought in bits of rabbit and just left them lying under somebody's bed. And let's face it, who goes under their bed very often? So that was 10.1 by 14.4. We're going to layer this up onto the card this time. If I cut it, and then this bit that was left over from the other strip. We're going to cut the, this to 9.7, so it's coming in a bit narrower, so we're just cutting it a little bit. This is for our kind of stepped up card, and then we want this to be 14. And so, of course, we don't want to waste this either. So, that will be going across there. But it will be going across there. What is the width of it? So just measure what that little scrap. I don't want it wasted. I can't get an exact. You've got grid paper here, Janice. Makes it easier. 2.2. So if we cut a piece at 2.6. And 9.7. You see where I'm going here? So let's just, before I forget what I'm doing, go ahead and start making this up a wee bit so that I, because I'll have lost all my bits before I know where I am. And nothing worse than losing your bits, girls. <laughs> right, so I'm going to layer this onto here. And then onto the card. Or we could even do that. You see, we could have that and show this side. That's nice, isn't it? Like that way. Yeah, so that's what we're doing. So again, we're just using that same piece of paper. Got some little bits off it, but. So yeah, so there, we're la I'm layering this onto Granny Apple Green. So, but just by doing layers, you are fancying up your card a fair bit. And because we don't want to waste that scrap, we're going to glue that onto that strip of card up to back it on. I know that most of you guys that are watching right now are seasoned card makers, most of you, but um, a lot of my people who watch afterwards are beginners, so this is where I'm aiming this is, do you know, if you're just starting out to buy that bundle, this oval and the stamp set that I'm using if I knew where I'd laid it. Oh yeah, it's right beside me here. Look, look at, so you've got a nice one. That would be fab for Easter. Thank you for your kindness. These ones fit onto the larger oval. They don't really fit onto the little one, you see. But you've got loads. So anyway, before my glue dries, get this on the card. Rub that down. I always turn it over and hold it firmly so it won't move and then just give it a good old rub and it makes sure that the glue dries nice and flat and it's evenly distributed. See the difference that makes. Then this time, just adding this on. And it just fits across there. Pretty. And then we need a sentiment again. Well, we use the same one. Do you know where I put it? Right there, it is. Happy birthday. Friends, 
we'll just stick with the happy birthday because just see if it's only about showing you. Obviously, you can pick whatever sentiment you want to put on your card. It's just simple ways to use up this paper. Honestly, I've got so much of it, you would not believe. Another drink of my coffee. So what have you all got in your cups today? I've got lovely black coffee fresh out the machine. We're lucky we've got one of these bean to cup machines. So I just put my cup under and push a button. And magically I get my coffee and I take it black. So it's just like cup under, coffee grinds and filters through and then I just take it away and drink it. I mean obviously somebody has to fill it and things but sometimes that's magically done by my husband. I am so lucky I know. Right, I'm just taking the wee scrap there um, that's on the back there and just popping that on the back. And there you have that just go across the bar there so there you go so we've gone from one you know one strip of paper and some bits of card and we're moving on so we'll do another one and we'll fancy it up even more shall we what have we got? so i'm just going to stick with the granny apple green and that particular sheet of paper that i've already chopped into so let's just chop this time we'll do it a different way around but we're sticking with the same colors so we'll cut this layer again at, this goes at 9.7 and 14 and we'll get a black layer this time to put on just so that you can see the difference. I've got a scrap of that line, I'm sure I have, yeah. So I'm going to bring this wee scrap in here for this card and then I need my black, black for a layer. quiet and I'm just making sure my measurement and that's wrong so we'll just have to pop that over and use that for something else this needs to be 10.1 no use it being the same width as the paper or it won't have any impact oh hi Karen never saw you coming in Yeah, yeah that's, mine is basically Americano too, Steph. Ah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Right. And then we'll find things to add to this and fancy this up even more. But just going with the same kind of design principle. I'll pop that over there just now until we get some space. this time daisies can be the main not the focal point but the main part of the card I would say the focal point should be um, sentiment and the oval punch it's just so handy that oval punch honestly think you need it if you don't have it not only is that you can act there is another free stamp set that you can have um, if your order is £150 or more, obviously you can pick three. If it was £150 or more, you would be able to pick 
three free items from the celebration that you'd also with your commission that you would get on an order of over you'd have 15 pound to spend if your order was exactly 150 you can choose this host set now i think that's like 12 pound of that so you would get that free and something else free with your commission if your order's over 150 so you know that these these sentiments match up we've got some that match up with the oval in fact that's what i can use one from this this time these ones fit the heart the oval so you've got other punches so we've got the postage stamp punch that goes with these and then we've got our double heart pack punch and my glue's going to dry while I'm blathering these two that punch out hearts and they layer with each other as well so I brought them out just in case I went that way but it was good just to show you them punches are the way to go punches are the future that's me that's my new thing right now i've got this now, just for a change i'm just going to break change it up here Boop. so i'm going to pop that down and will we we'll put that onto granny apple green i think just so that it'll show up so it is 14 long and let's see how wide is it and this just do this i just measure it up and add four so that is 3.8 so it wants to be 4.2 hi heather can you come i think the fire's on <laughs> i've been so busy this morning <laughs> so what did i i 4.2 but we'll cut it that way first right so it needs to be 14 about 4.2 this time so just add four millimeters on oh your afternoon today that's wrong length janice is it no you can cut this to 14 and run away da 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 it's trial and error Oh great Steph, you're just wonderful. Right, so what have I got? I want to spread, really brighten this up this time. I want in a bit of ribbon. Um, I have got, I'm going to lay that one there first. Let's glue that down and then we'll reach over for the ribbon. I think I've still got some of that. The black sparkle, is that in the annual catalogue or am I just thinking we don't have a black ribbon now? I don't think we have, it was in the winter one wasn't it? But I'm just thinking, this has got lovely bumblebee yellow in the middle. So I think I might, I'm looking for a bit of ribbon to add to it. So I've got bumblebee here so let's just bring that in yeah, i've got ribbon over there that's got granny apple green in it but let's just go to bring out one of the other colors here and that might be so saffron but it's, this is close enough <laughs> the black sparkle is still available is it i decided that too much black anyway it's, we're look, thinking about spring so let's so just I'm just thinking I'm just tie that round in a knot I'm just going to tie it in a wee flat knot so you don't have to be good at bows to fancy up your cards with some ribbon and just play with it till it does what you want it to do Trim it off. This is lovely. This is like a sort of twill, and it comes in all three of the in colours. The ones, the in colours that are staying with us for another year. So yeah, so we'll pop that on there, and then we'll put our sentiment on. 
let's use one out of the whole set from Celebration that you can still get until the 28th. So everything that I am demonstrating with today, you can buy in my online shop and that is jazzledazzle.stampinup.net If you're not sure, just ping me a message on here or all my, even if you're watching this on the replay on YouTube, all my contact details are in the description box below. I'm not hard to, I'm all over the place, so, <laughs> literally. <laughs> So yeah, you'll find me. So let's get a sentiment on this one. So where did I put... Who's watching to see where I lay things down? So this nice heartfelt thanks for everything. I've used these before they retire because I don't have room to keep the things after they've retired. I can keep them for my own use, but they go in a big box <laughs> after because I just don't have room to have them out and then sometimes I have to look them out if I think I need them. So this one, we're changing from happy birthday to thank you, which is nice. Look, we're at half past 11 and we've nearly got three cards made and yet sometimes... I don't even get one made properly. We just keep looking at different ways to use this paper. So a heartfelt thanks for everything. Won't come off now. Well, oh, that's nice. Look at that. Look at that font. It's so crisp. So there we go, um, another gulp of the old coffee. We've got one of them left on there. Where's the packets? Are these going to come off there? No. Yeah, I've got two of these little ones on that bit, so let's use them up. So our dimensionals are the best. The backings, as you see, look, I hardly have any fingernails, but they come off no bother. Of course, we do have tools that help, but just, just saying. So then we can just kind of offset that a wee bit. And if you want to bling this up, we've got bling. Now, I, I, I really like these gold... These are lovely and they just what jumped out of a whole box of bling there so you can choose what you like. So let's see, I've got plenty of tweezers because they're pretty handy for lifting things. I do have nice tools. So you, you've got choices here so you can just add some bling around or you can add it to the middle of the flowers sometimes it's appropriate. But on this occasion I am just going to pop them around me around the card I think one about there to so draw your eye around the card and I'm going to bring this one down no that one's there so let's come right over to here there we go so there you go that's a third card and again we're just using the same paper so this time let's use the same paper again um so you're just slowly bringing in more and more things and building up your card. So this time I think we'll cut, I'm not, let's see what we've got in, where's my trimmer gone? Da -da -da. Okay, so this may work and it may not. But let's cut this to the size we need it. So we need it 14 wide. Again, I'm sticking with the same sort of colours here and that is 9.7 that way and it's 14 there so we'll, let's just cut this at 7 so 
we've got we've put them together like that on a card and then we can use the ribbon in the middle we'll see so I want to layer that onto some granny apple green and then onto a black card I think so I need this to be 10.1 I'm just grabbing what's beside me I'm just trying to stay with the same sort of the same paper and the same colour theme so just using up your granny apple green and your black card with it obviously you can choose different colours it would work well with the um, yellow here I don't think so. I think the black's really fabulous dimensional, so I think we'll have them a while. So I'm going to glue these on here like that. So again, it's just it's using the same th sort of idea, but just changing it up slightly each time. I don't think they'll pull them out unhanded. I think they're really useful. There you go. There you don't go. <laughs> right, okay. So do we have a black card base, do we? Nope. Just about my card drawers right behind me. It was so easy and then I dropped it. Do you know what I am? Um, my video had stopped on my. Oh yeah, the foam sheets are great and had a uh, Right, so I'm needing two uh, needing a card base here so we'll just, when you're cutting a sheet you score it in half and then cut it in half. Put the scorer out the way of course. Right, so then I've got another two black card bases. Should be enough for today. Oh hi Pam! Never saw you coming in. Oh, your shirt! <laughs> right, so then... So where is... Oh, there, I hope you guys are seeing this. Okay, my laptop is doing some ridiculous things just now. Are you seeing this okay? It's all pixelating. It might stop it and see if it'll start again. That's okay on my phone. I think my laptop might be coming to the end of its useful life. Right, so where did I put the ribbon? Who's watching? We could do that. But who wants to get really fancy? I do have Golden Flakes right in front of me here. I'm going just seen as we've got time this morning I think another way to cover that join up is just put a bit of double sided tape across the join as straight as you can which mine will not be straight 
don't stick it to your paper. Trim the excess off. I, I did not plan to do this, but do you know what? This is how we roll with Janice. So again, we're fancying it up more and I have a box here. That's an A4 box. It will be my Gildan Flakes box. Now I have to be very careful. The static in this is quite, you can see it's starting to move, but I have to keep, I keep my sponge in here. And I'm keeping that. So I need to take the back, the sticky back off my tape. I hope you can see all right. Yeah, the die cutting the letters with the alphabet die and the foam sheets is such fun. Now I've taken the back off that. I'm going to pop it in there. Now I did have my tweezers out. Did you see where I laid them? Is there ever a chance that I would ever put them back where I got them? Nope, I can't see them. I'm telling you, somebody needs to keep an eye on me. Because I've not put them back where they should be and they're not to my hand. Oh well, just have to do something else. Right, so Gildan Flakes are here. There's loads of bits in there as well. I usually take these out very carefully with my tweezers, but I do have <coughs> the nail and my coffee. That would have been a good one, wouldn't it? I've got some other tweezers. These are not my ones I usually use, but hey. Right, that'll be plenty out. It'll be more than I need. You, I've, been, I've used this on a lot of projects so far and look, still got tons left. Oh. How do you turn notifications off? Hi Elena, we're just playing anyway. So yeah, so I'm just aiming these flakes at the sticky bit. Pop, I'm just popping them down onto it with my finger first. All these wee bits that are lying about. Don't waste them, just pop them. Just sort of try and cover the whole sticky bit, but not to worry because as you rub this, it will move from one bit to the other. I've just got an old bit of segment of one of our sponges. And with the tape, this works so well. So you do you know if you've not got around to getting heat and stick powder yet but you've got the flakes or you don't always want to have your heat tool not everybody has a heat tool here's a way a nice easy way to use your gilding flakes that that was so simple with the wee sponge So what do you think? Nice and sparkly. I'm liking that. Right, so let's... Your, you know your sentiment can go over that. Just, you know, buy these gills and flakes and play with them because they are such fun. And I know people say, oh, they've whacked about the house and, well, how lucky to have some gold flapping about. Aren't we lucky crafters? I've got gold leaf floating about my house. I've got opals in my box. I've got just glitter. I always tell my husband he's really, really lucky that he lives in such a sparkly house. So I'm just going to glue this up. Pop that on. I 
gonna over. Just adds another wee bit of interest and now you don't see the join between the papers. I asked we can have a sentiment with thanks is nice again, isn't it? Where's the where's the ink now? Oh right beside me, right in your hand, Janice. I do like that sentiment. Um, I just maybe put the lid on the ink, Janice, before you have an accident. Right, and then just some glue on the back of this. I'm aware of my hands, so well, let's just be careful what we're doing with them. Right then, off I think. Oh, I think we should. We could write a book about. Where's the strangest place that you found the back end from a dimensional? Sometimes it's unmentionable where you find them. So we've got these wee bits at the edge of our dimensional sheets. That's just because I need to go in the drawer and get a new pack of each one and pop them in my box. But just use up all the bits. We well, not want, oh, that's what I was taught when I was a child. So again, you can pop that just right bang in the middle. You can still have a wee bow. You can just take, take a piece of ribbon, just a short piece. Tie in a knot. Maybe I made it too short <laughs> to get the knot. <laughs> And you can just make a, a wee overhand knot like that. Tease it about till it's in the middle. Trim it to the size you want. Always cut your ribbon on a diagonal because then it's less likely to fray. And then get a glue dot. Again, I would have these in your basic kit when you start making cards. Yeah, that oval punch, it is so handy. So you can just pop a wee bow there. Just at the bottom there. And then we can add some bling. So we've still got, you know, a card. What happened to my tweet? Oh, they're right there. Look. Again, you could pop them there. Or, you know, just, for, just to show you, use them as the centre of the flowers. You know we have bling let's use it of course what I've done there is covered up the yellow and then that makes that look sort of wise it there but hey that's okay maybe I could have just done some of the flowers that's not me though it's all or nothing there we go so what, oh goodness me, we've got 10 minutes. We think we'll get another one, will we? Let's see if we've got a space. We've still got this left. So we've got four done so far. Hi, word. So let's see, have we got, yeah, I've got a black card base. Oh, oh. Or other, this time we could pull the yellow in. Just keeping it simple, Debs. 10.1. If there's anyone in that I've not said hello to, I'm really sorry. Ah, oh, Donna, I just saw you there as well. I'm on a roll here, but the card making. I think we've got a few made today. I think we might manage the fifth one. So again, 10.1, 14.4. Imagine how many would get done if I'd prepped. Whew. Well, 
I maybe need to cut the paper too, Janice. Then I'll cut this one at 9.7. And this at 14. So that will be that might be the way it goes and then I'm thinking we can have something bigger in the middle um, yeah let's cut this at seven really I'm making this up but it just shows you seven by nine that'll do me and then a piece of this then it will be nine point four by seven point four let's cut it right yes she did Right, and I need this, no I don't, just now. Okay, so, what if, you can do this, you, you could even do this, have it all the same pattern, but this time I think what we'll do is we'll turn that one over, and it doesn't look terrible, although there's no yellow in there, it, it still looks okay on that, because they all tone together so well. So, we'll glue this down. We'll glue it down if my, my glue will speak to me. And then I'm just going to put this straight onto the card base. Yeah, the berry paper is a lovely celebration. But this paper, Flowering Field, is the one that jumped out at me right away. And I really liked it. And I made some uh, gift boxes for my team ladies. Um, for Christmas, obviously. <laughs> uh, Christmas boxes with it. I don't know why my, this keeps sticking. And then I'm going to glue this to this. This vine paper is lovely, like it is like a vine. And I think that would go with the vine set. There's a bundle. And I think you could work with that paper with the vine set. Right, so here's my daisies picture and again I'm just layered it up using a four millimeter um, size difference between what I cut and then I can tie some ribbon around this. This time I'm going to do it slightly different. I'm going to cut that bit of ribbon, show you a different way to achieve a bow. This time we might just do a real bow on this card. So I, I'm going to bring out, I keep bringing out more things, but I do find, if I had, I could find it. I've got this one, but I don't get on with this one so well. I don't know where the other has gone. But do you know what? We've got double-sided tape out just now, or tearing tape, which is pretty good. So let's just, pop, it's just so that I've got something to hold my ribbon in place. So if I pop that, I'm try I haven't decided my composition yet. I actually think if you pop that somewhere in the middle, you get a good. And you could line up properly and measure, and but I'm a bit of a. Let's use. Sorry, I'm. Thinking and talking at the same time. I just use this in the same way, kind of like you use 
sales tip. Just that, you know, go back and check that it's what you want. That's going to go on there. And then we'll have our sentiment. We'll go for middles, I think. No, we don't need that just now. That's not. Right. And then take the backing off your tearing tape. Because that will, obviously that will stick to your card base and stop your ribbon moving. So I'm just adding some glue over the ribbon as well. I want this to really stick down firmly and not be flapping off again later. And then I'm going to pop my daisies here. Just getting a bit of a layered look. And do we have one more of these? But again, what I was going to say is you don't actually have to stamp on to black. We could have, or this time we will stamp on the white, but we could have the yellow as because we've used it throughout, so that can be the back for this. And again, just going with the thanks, because do you know what? Thanks is always needed. Who doesn't need to send a thank you card? Now I was going to show you a bow with this. I'll show you my very sophisticated bow maker. I can't tie bows without something to help me, and I certain you know I'm definitely not ever going to achieve that on when I'm filming. So this bow maker is a sort of copy of the glitter girls one. I broke my Glitter Girls one and my husband made me this with some scraps that were lying around. He's not a joiner, he doesn't profess to be a joiner, he's a car mechanic. But do you know what? This is fab. It does the job. So then just fiddle with it till you get it the way you want. Make it into a nice bow. You see, I used that from the reel, so I'm not wasting too much. And just chop it. And funnily enough, the glue dots are right in front of me. So I'm just going to get a glue dot. Maybe. Maybe get a glue dot. And where's my... Thank you, because I'm not decided what's going where. <laughs> Do you see what I've done? I glued that to that. Right. So if that went there, then there's nowhere for the bow there. Put that there and that. You do that. Just for a change. Not my usual composition, but do you know what? Sometimes it's just nice to change it up and some... Where are they? Yeah. What's left here? Two normal dimensionals. Flick the backs off. Was I putting that there? There? It was there for a change, wasn't it? And some bling. like three together like that then you could take two little ones you could put them there like the wee studs keeping your label together and there you go so let's tidy up a wee bit and bring in I say tidy up, that's not really what it is, it's, it's let's sweep everything aside out of the way. Right, so who's in that I've not said hello to? Oh, 
Cindy, hiya. It's, yeah. Oh, early morning for you, Cindy. What are you doing up? this time right so let's have a look then at what we've made we're we're just a minute to spare how's that so firstly we just did this one plain and simple perfectly acceptable there's nothing wrong with that and that if you're gonna hurry quick card and off you go then we stepped it up a little and we just used a little bit of card and we put it onto mats which just lifts it that little bit then we've used another bit here where we've used mats and we've done the strip that way. Then we added a bow and some bling. And then this one finally we've got bow, ribbon, bling. And we've used a different colour to lift that. Now I do think that lifts the sentiment more by using one of the colours. So maybe the, bl the black kind of disappears into it a wee bit. But hey, that's it. Five cards. Perfectly fine cards. What do you think, ladies and gents? So what's your favourite? One, two, three, four, five. We still have enough from that 12 by 12 sheet to make another card. I mean, just run out of time. But do you know what I mean? So you would get six substantial cards like this out of one sheet, I think. So yeah, thank you very Oh, hi Ali, never saw you in here. Oh, thanks for your comments. So what are we voting for? Yeah, five, that's the full works, isn't it, Verity? Four and five. So you guys like them blinged up a bit. Yeah, three, something like three, four, five, two, five. Yeah, but the... Oh, hi Helen, never noticed you either. I'm so sorry if I haven't said hello to you. Thanks for your votes, ladies, yeah. But nobody's voted for number one. <laughs> but do you know what? That is fine if you're in a rush, isn't it? It's better than not sending a card. And it's pretty paper. Yep. Obviously, you would want to put line these, because the ones, the dark bases, because you can't really write on the black, unless you've got a metallic pen. But anyway, thank you everyone for joining me for coffee and cards. I've still got some coffee left in my cup, Karen. So, yep. Love it. It's probably still quite it holds it, keeps it hot for ages, this one. Mmm. Oh yes, that feels better. Right, so anyway, thank you very much, everybody. Have a great day. Get back to sleep if you're wakened in the middle of the night. Four o'clock is not a real time, Cindy. Really not a, a time at all. But I'm going ahead now, enjoy the rest of Wednesday or if you're in, t no actually this is Thursday, enjoy the rest of Thursday <laughs> and if you're nearly into Friday enjoy that too, I'll see you later, bye bye. Don't forget thumbs ups, likes, positive comments, give us lots of support, thank you very much and thank you for the love, yay have a happy day. Is it Kaketi and Harad? Kaketi.